Okay, so we can do a lot of great things in our game here. We can plant and water. We can go over here and switch the day and the crops grow, but we are kind of missing part of the management of this game, which is buying and selling things. So we'll have these places where we can go and buy seeds. And then once we harvest carrots, then we can go over and sell the carrots. So let's work on that. Should be pretty simple. When we first start out, uh, let's just, let's initialize our money. Okay. And let's see, we have our money and harvesting here. So sure, functioning, function, I money. Probably don't need to split these up in different functions, but it's okay. Money equals zero. All right, we're starting with nothing. Actually, let's start with something. Let's start with $12, okay? Then when we harvest, we get a carrot. And then if we have carrots, we should be able to sell them over here. So let's figure out a way to do that. So let's just use our flags here. So let's just do flag six for sell and flag five for buy, all right? So we'll switch back over to our action buttons here. Ooh, we already have flag four. Yeah, flag five and six, okay. So let's do this, else if, we'll just kind of keep these in order here. Else if we get five, then we're going to buy seeds. Z and else if flag six, then we're going to sell carrot. So when we buy seeds, we're going to need to take our money down. So let's say money minus equals the cost of seeds. So we could make that a variable that we can tweak, but we're really only gonna have it here. So let's just say minus equals one. When we sell the carrots, let's say uh, money plus equals three, all right? So we're selling it for three times what we paid for the seeds. We're also going to take our carrots minus equals one. We're only gonna be able to do this if we have carrots. So if carrots are greater than zero, then we can do this, all right, and we can only buy seeds if we have money. So if money is greater than zero, we also get some seeds, plus equals one, all right? Let's make sure that we actually have these set up. I think that's an I crops. I crops, carrots and seeds, great. And we have our money, so carrots, seeds, and money. I think that's all we need, okay? Let's save and run. So we have money, but we don't actually have a way to know that. So let's print our money here too. Print money. That'd be great if that were real life, huh? Print money. Let's do, where's that gonna be? That's gonna be here, which is 715. So seven times 46, I believe. 122 comma 10. That should be our money. And then we should also print our carrots. Oh, we already have our carrots printed, yay. Okay, there's our money. So we should have money down there. That's not really set up right. Probably didn't do math right. I think it's 52, 56. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have 12 monies. We can go over here and buy, let's hit X. There we go. And now we have our money going down. Our seeds should be going up, but we don't have our seeds printing yet. So print seeds. What's this one at? This one is three. So three times eight is 24. 122, 10, save run, okay. There's our seeds, we have our money, and as we buy, our money goes down and our seeds go up, good. Now, when we plant, we need to use a seed, and we should only be able to plant if we have seeds. So, let's see, let's go to our action buttons here. So, we plant seeds only if we have enough money. So if, or only if we have seeds. If seeds is greater than zero, we do this. And we also take seeds minus equals one. Great. So that should both take down our seeds when we plant and only plant if we have seeds. Save run. So right now, nothing happens when I hit the X button because we don't have seeds. But we can go over and buy the seeds. Buy, 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 buy so many seeds. Then we can plant and our seeds go down as we plant. Good, good. Now we can water them. That isn't dependent on having seeds. And let's go through the days here. Now we have carrots, we can harvest those. As we harvest them, we get more carrots. So we have three carrots now. We should be able to go over and sell this and get money. So I'm selling carrots. So our carrots are going down and our money's going up. So now we have $9. Oh baby, this is pretty much the game. So now I can add a lot more seeds and plant them. Oh boy. And this is where it starts to get dangerous because we have to start managing our time and energy here because we have 12 hours left. Okay, that's all we got. Let's charge. Great, now we have more carrots. Let's sell those. Ooh, sell all of them. Great, now we have $9 and we can buy, buy, buy more seeds and let's replant these. And pretty soon this is going to get a little bit too big to manage. That's why we gotta be careful with 
how we lay this out. Got to be strategic. There we go. Worrying about our battery as well as our hours. I think we're going to run out of battery before we run out of hours though. We're going to make sure we have enough battery to get home. Great. Let's charge. New day. Oh, now we got more. Let's go harvest these. Sell them. Great. Let's go over and buy some stuff. 12 packs of seeds and put these a little bit closer to our charge pad because I think we're going to have some trouble here soon. Okay, we have 30 percent battery 12 hours left all right see what we can do is we can not move and that saves battery but the hours still go down okay so we'll go over here boom there we go we got more carrots this is pretty cool this is actually a fun game that's pretty awesome sell our carrots all right and let's buy more carrots okay 33 left let's replant these carrot thingies here and let's just see we'll be really strategic here Ooh, I only have 27% battery left. It's gonna go down quick. Gotta be able to get home. Okay, three, two, okay, let's charge. See where it gets kind of difficult? Gotta be careful. All right, sell those and so on. So this is actually working pretty well, I would say. We have our buy and sell behavior. We have our charging in our day. We have our losing state if we run out of battery or run out of time. I think next are just some kind of little polishy things here. I mean, obviously we probably want some actual art for our buy and sell and maybe some sounds, maybe some other HUD things. Let's just see how it goes. That's all for today. By the way, if you're new to Pico 8, we have a free Pico 8 Essentials Workshop available right here. And if you want to watch all the videos in this series, there's a playlist right here. See you next time.